Storm inside, silence outside. That's the perfect description of the Chinese Communist Party. The CCP looks calm like a calm ocean, but like a shark chasing and devouring its prey underwater, the political struggle within the party is taking a bloody turn. And it looks like a tsunami of resentment has now hit the Chinese regime in the most ruthless way possible. Xi Jinping has apparently vaporized his best friend and the number three in the CCP on the charges of being implicit in anti-Jinping activities. He is now being accused of acting as a mole at the behest of the rival Shanghai camp. Clearly, Jinping is facing a coup against him. But acting against a top Politburo member could very well prove to be suicidal for Jinping in the coming months. Let me tell you how. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Atul Mishra and in this video I will tell you about Li Jansu, Jinping's best friend turned four who may have just attempted a coup on him. Li Jianshu, the number three in the CCP Politburo Standing Committee and the current chairman of the National People's Congress in China, has mysteriously gone missing. He was even absent from the Chinese Communist Party's New Year Tea Party. This Tea Party is an event where top CCP leaders meet and discuss national policies every year. According to the CCP Charter, attending this event is mandatory. So Li Jianshu's disappearance has now sent the speculation market into a tizzy about his whereabouts and well-being, especially because Jianshu was too close to Xi Jinping. Some media reports believe that Li Jianshu is a close friend to Xi Jinping. He is counted amongst Jinping's most trusted confidants. At a young age, both Jianshu and Jinping were in charge of neighboring counties at Hebei province. Later on, Jianshu became the director of the central office of Xi Jinping. Jinping was so fond of him that he broke the tradition to get him re-elected for the third term in the office. Leaders in CCP's top echelons view them as two great friends, but as soon as the speculations around Zhang Shu's disappearance began emerging in China, a pro-CCP Hong Kong newspaper called Ming Pao came up with some scathing allegations against the Politburo member. Looks like someone has fallen off the high horse and been vaporized, but there is a reason why we say this. The Ming Pao newspaper spun an interesting theory that Li Jianshu could be a mole planted by Xi Jinping's rivals within the Politburo committee. The paper claimed that Li's fake identity was deliberately arranged by the Shanghai faction. Jianshu's uncle, Li Jiangjiang, and former vice president Zheng Qinghong's sister, Zheng Haisheng, had allegedly played a big role in putting Li Jianshu on the top CCP committee. Both of them belong to Xi's rival Shanghai faction, and not just that, if some media reports are to be believed, Zhang Shu's uncle, Li Jiangjiang, is himself being investigated by the CCP. Zhang Shu's disappearance implies two possibilities. Either he's severely ill or he is in crosshairs with the CCP. If Zhang Shu doesn't appear in the central delegation on Chinese New Year, slated this February, it will imply that his disappearance is related to the red-hot tensions running within the CCP's top leadership. First, disappearing the suspected political rivals and then eliminating them is a classic textbook thumb rule being practiced by the CCP for years. For example, in 2006, the then sixth ranked member of the Politburo Standing Committee and Executive Vice Premier Wang Zhu had disappeared in a similar way. Initial reports claimed that he was ill and then later he was confirmed dead by the CCP officials in mysterious conditions. Just like Zhang Shu, Wang Zhu also belonged to the Shanghai faction, while the then president, Hu Jintao, hailed from the Youth League faction. As it appears, every time a political struggle takes place in the CCP, a top Chinese leader falls ill in mysterious circumstances, only to be getting killed later on. This time, it appears, is Li Jiangshu's turn to be scapegoated to satisfy the ever-expanding paranoia of the CCP dictator. Xi Jinping may feel relieved after executing the number three of the CCP Politburo Committee, but this also shows that Jinping is all set to face a rocky path to his third term in the office. His rivals are waiting for one right moment to hunt him down and prevent him from being the only invincible power in Chinese politics. Nabbing one of his closest leaders in the Politburo Committee by Xi Jinping will further instill mistrust among the top leadership. Shanghai faction is indeed much stronger and has much deeper roots than what many of us believe it to have been wielding in the CCP. Many of the Politburo members are now realizing the proximity to Xi Jinping is a double-edged 
sword. Any leader could any day become the next victim of Jinping's paranoia. This may also lead Jinping's rivals to consolidate their efforts towards removing Jinping from the hem and isolating his supporters within the CCP. In other words, a coup is in the offing. So the ongoing crisis risks splitting the CCP right in the middle if the ongoing war between the Shanghai faction and Xi faction ends in a stalemate. Jinping's condition today corresponds to a dog chasing its own tail. He is treading down a perilous path that is sure to flatten his evil regime sooner than later.